Good day, everyone. Now, we will continue solving unit vectors. So, from our previous events, so let's assume that I will give you three vectors. So, I have vector A, vector B, and vector C in the form of the unit vectors. So, that will be 38. So, if I will ask you to add this graphically, we will find R. So, we will find R in I, J, K. So, you will have to add A plus B plus C. Okay? So, if these are the given, I will ask you to draw this graphically. This is our I. This is our J. This is our negative uh, uh, j, and this is our negative i, okay? So, your first vector, we will add first vector, b vector to c vector, head to tail method. So, since the given are components, I will measure first what is 38.37. I will use a scale, so the same scale that we used last time which is 1 cm is equal to 10 newton. So, therefore, since this is Ax, so my Ax is 3.84, roughly 84 cm. And Ay is equal to 6.14 cm. So, that is positive A. So, this is Positive I, so I will draw it in a positive I. So that is 3.8, so roughly. Okay, so I will just mark. So this is the length of AX. And for my AY, so that is 6.14. So that is AY is positive, so that is J. 6.14, so here. So this is a y. Okay, so if I will connect that one. Okay. So I will get the intersection of the two end measurement. So this will be my vector a okay which is my vector a so that is how to draw a vector a using the components so if we will go back given the vector a here 72.4 newton or that is 7.24 if i will measure this to so, this is roughly 7.2 or the CM. same with that. Okay. So, that is how to draw our vector A. So, for vector B, if I want to draw it, so CM. let's connect it with the head tail method. So, that will be. Now, my vector B to. So, my B X is equal to 4.64 let's say 64 cm and my by is 3.60 ano, 37 cm so these are just the length of our scale but we have to know this is negative i so i have to draw from the green I have to go to green, which is this one. This is a negative I. So, this is positive I. This is negative I. Positive J. This is negative J. Okay? From this point to this, okay, that is your B, X. Again, we're using the green axis for your Y. Since this is negative j, 
So we will go to negative J here. So that is 3.34. Okay, so 34, it's almost 34. So until here. So that will be, okay, so this one, B, Y. Okay, so if we will connect that one, okay, so I hope this will not confuse you. Okay, so we will connect these components. And that is this. So this is my vector B. Okay. So here, if I will measure this, my vector B is 5.5, which is here near to our vector V is 5.7. So since this is graphical, it's not really exact. And our vector, so vector C is just, Okay, so it's just south, so that is C, Y is just equal to 1.78 cm. There's no, CX is 0. So, it's not almost the same with our drawing previously, pero okay so that is my c since this is uh since this is just j negative j and rr will be this one okay so if we will go back to our previous um uh, to what i saw last time so of our vector r if we will have a plus b plus c using the graphical method, component method, or the sine law, cosine law method. Okay, so actually, it is much easier to add uh, vectors using the unit vector. So, what we're just going to do is uh, to get the sum, we will just have here so r is just equal to a plus B, plus C. In general form, that will be A, X, I hat, plus A, Y, J hat. So that is A, plus B, X, I hat, plus B, Y, J hat, plus C X I hat plus C Y J hat. So, what we're going to do is we can only add all the components that have the same direction. So, this one. So, that will be A X plus B X plus plus C X I hat. Okay, plus a y plus b y plus c y j hat. If there are z, so it will be plus a z b z plus c z k hat. Okay, so it means from our problem, we will go back here. So we will just add all the components. And vector C, there is no vector A, so that is negative. So this will be zero. You can put zero if so that you will not be confused. Okay, and we will now solve R. So again, as I said, it is much easier to find the resultant vector if our vectors in the form of unit vectors. So that will be here. 
the answer of this is negative 7.99 i hat positive 9.92 j hat and that is newton based on our result these are the same components of our x and our y in our previous problem so i will put the the link here So in vector subtraction, so for example, I want here, I want to find R, which is equal to A minus B. So what you're going to do is you will just change the sign. So it will be A, so same, 36.37, I had. 61.40 j hat newton minus b so that is the negative sign of b because this one actually is just the same with a plus negative of b so we will just still add where but the b has different sign so we will multiply negative sign here in our vector b so it will just be positive 0.36 i hat and it is will be also positive 33.68 j hat newton so the answer will be for this r a minus b that will be 82.73 i hat plus 95.08 j hat and that is Newton. Okay.